right, everybody. This is going to be a bit of a shorter video with some more casual tips. Um, I got three tips for this video. Most of you guys probably already know these tips, so it might just be old news. For those who don't, this might be a helpful video. In this video, I'll be talking about Makoa, uh, his hook, his angles on his hook, uh, the button hopping with Kinesa, and wall jump in general. Uh, I'm going to go over each of them slowly. And uh, like I said before, you might already know this, but uh, for those who don't, this could be helpful. Alright, so starting out with Makoa. Makoa has a thing where his hook goes from his left hand. As you can see when he's jumping up, hook is in the left hand. What this means in actual gameplay is that if you stand in the corner, let's say this one. Because the hook is on the left side, even though I can clearly see Ying, if I hook her, it's gonna hit the wall. The hook will be stopped by the wall. So even though she's considered entirely in my vision and in the crosshair, I can't actually hook her because this wall is in the way. So I need to be further away from the wall. However, what that same thing means is that because it's on your left side, you can do quote unquote bullshit hooks when you can't even see the enemy. Let's say Sky, for example, she's clearly behind the wall, but I can still hook her. Again, because the hook originates from the left side. First blood. So let me show you one more time. From this is two. Ying, clearly in my vision. I'm gonna try and hook her, but I can't. Now we're gonna wait 10 seconds and I'll show you on the other side. It's a general tip to keep in mind because people that play Makoa might be like, oh, why did my hook not hit? Well, it's because there was a wall on your left side. Also playing against Makoa, you can use this trick to position yourself better so he can't hook you as easily. Again, on the sky, very much behind the wall. Oh, okay, that was too much behind the wall. You need to figure out like what the exact spacing is. Um, it's not super, super reliable, but it's a useful thing to know. So sky, behind the wall. I can still hook her, no problem. So that's the, uh, that's the Makoa thing. And there's many ways you can use that. You can, you know, hook over walls, on the walls. Um, it's just something to keep in mind that it originates from your left hand. So don't try and hook when there's a wall on the way. Alright, going straight to the next one is Kinesa. This one resolves around Prodigy. This is a quite, a, quite an old trick, and I think most old players already know this one. But since <coughs> Kinesa kind of fell out of the meta, people might have forgotten about this, or maybe you haven't never seen this before. So Kinesa, I'm just going to show you her normal jump. It's like this. Not very far. Not very far at all. And when you scope in, it's this range. It's even less, right? And let me show you on this side. Let me show you that again real quick. So, we got the normal jump. We got the scoped in jump. And now if you jump and scope at the same time, because of the prodigy card I showed before, you can actually do a far jump. This means you go way further. Just to compare, normal jump, scoped in jump, and bunny up jump. What this allows you to do is to peek out the wall, shoot someone, and be behind the wall again. I can't really do it well because I'm a fucking shit Kinesa, but you can't make it. It also allows you to move faster if you need to run away from someone by doing the bunny up because it's faster than walking, it's faster than normal jumping. The only thing fast is obviously the teleport. Now, when it comes to jumping, I'm gonna go straight to the third tip, is the wall jump. This is probably the most commonly known one. Uh, I just wanna show you for those who don't. Basically, if you look at a wall, you jump higher. Let's take this box for example. If I look away from the box, I cannot jump on top of it. It's almost impossible, it's literally impossible. However, looking at the box, I jump higher and I can jump on top. This is a trick that most people already know, but some people didn't realize it that you need to actually look at the wall in order to get to high jump. So like standing next to the wall, this is the high jump. Looking away from the wall, it's a low jump. You don't have to look at the wall constantly, you can look at the wall and then look away. You still get the higher jump. And this is the trick you can use to not only get on platforms, which is an obvious one, but also if a Drogos is coming, you can jump up, maybe jump over the Drogos. You can use it as Kinesa with the Prodigy jump, to go even further. So there's a lot of tricks and uh, things you can do with that. In general, it's just a mobility tip, something useful to keep in mind. So, like I said, short video, three easy, simple tips that can help you maybe get a, get better at your game. If you already know them, that's fine as well. I'm sure there'll be videos in the future with tricks you don't already know. So, that will do it for me.